Hello and welcome from the camp for you campsite near Wrocław, Poland. And today's a special day for me because today I passed 50,000 subscribers on YouTube. And I'm very grateful for this. Thanks very much. Feel very humbled. And it's been quite a long time to get this far though. I've, I started off my YouTube site in uh, July of 2006. It was meant as support for my business website. Uh, when the uh, graphic artist came around, the person who was doing the website, he said, do you want to have uh, links to YouTube? And I said, what's that? And he said, it's a video uh, sharing platform. And I said, but uh, how can I uh, use that with my business? I don't have a video camera. And he said, I'll put it in anyway. And it all started off from there. I initially had uh, posted my materials. I was sort of traveling around with my then business and I uh, also uh, put up stuff relating to that business and also put up my history stuff. Now I've got a dedicated site for my history so that's called History on YouTube and I've also got uh, a dedicated travel site as well so I'm not really putting that much related to travel up on this site. This is now devoted only to uh, van life, me going around Europe in my van and showing vans, motorhomes, camper vans which are available in Europe. Uh, I'd like to do something in the United States sometime in the future but uh, that's uh, just a sort of a, a dream, not even a plan, a dream. A prototype, if you like, a prototype plan, if you like. So, uh, I bought my first uh, van in January 2011. I'd actually tried one out uh, 20 years earlier in 1991, decided I couldn't drive it and didn't buy it. So, I ended up with the uh, my first camper van, you can see the films of it, and this is my, I'm now onto my third one. And uh, I'm now posting one video a day. Uh, it's at 21.15 Central European time, 20.15 uh, UK time. I'm a bit hesitant, I usually like to say what the time is in Pacific time, but now as I'm doing it off the top of my head, I don't want to make a mistake. Uh, now, uh, so it's been, a great life this has sort of given me. Um, it's really very interesting. This has really taken off though in the last couple of years. Uh, I think I was on 30,000 subscribers for ex only about ooh, not that long ago. Um, I think about 15 months ago. So, so the most of the people have come in the last uh, year or so. Uh, now my targets which I set at the end of 2019 for 2020 are to reach uh, fifth, uh, sorry, 60 million subscribers and 53 million views. And on the subject of views, another thing I'd like to point out is that yesterday I passed 44 million views. So there's the two things together, 50,000 subscribers and 44 million views at the same time. So that's very that's, that's great. Um, another thing, I, um, there's lots of things I want to do, and, and it, often it's because of time that uh, I can't do it, and all the rest of it. And also because I still uh, have uh, a couple of other things I'm sort of working on as well. So, but it does give me the possibility of. Uh, I've been living full time in the van since nine years and doing sort of these films full time. It's uh, sort of going towards that uh, general direction. Um, of course, we're at the mercy of YouTube. I can say this, for example, with uh, history films I do. I know a history film, a 15 minute history film can take, what, well, just put the film together. We could be looking at three days just to put the film together. No, no, no research involved. And uh, and then YouTube decides it's not going to be monetized. Well, that is a bit of a problem. So we're very much at the mercy of YouTube. And this is as all uh, creators have this problem. You don't know what might happen around the corner. But uh, for the moment, this is you know it's it's relatively good for me. So uh, thanks very much for 
watching these videos and um, in the background you can sort of see where I'm staying at the moment because of the current uh, health emergency uh, which is throughout the world I'm, I'm, I'm sort of in quarantine uh, I don't need to be in quarantine the last time I was really hanging out with large amounts of people was more than three weeks ago but I'm sort of staying here anyway I'm going to do a separate video on that uh, to talk about uh, how what, what I'm doing in these circumstances so thanks very much and uh, keep watching uh, one thing I do have a request though is when you have people who have comments can you please put them in the comment section rather than sending me emails and uh, private messages um, because I'm, I'm spending a lot of time on private messages and um, it's I mean it's not as bad as some a situation I had uh, when I was just posting my history material up for example I would say around 2007 2008 because I, um, I was posting this history material up my specializations in the Holocaust and I'm getting people writing to me and I'd be spending about 10 hours a week just on things related uh, to history and you know it's like one day complete one whole day taken out of my, my working life so to speak so uh, it's not not like that now at the moment and I'm very grateful for people who do send these things and what have you but please put them in the comments section because that way uh, I do tend to see all comments I might naturally respond to them but uh, I do tend to see them but that way also other people can help and for example if you're looking for a van or something like that well you know I, I don't necessarily know what's going on everywhere in the world but I do other people somebody else might do so or oh, perhaps I shouldn't have walked with the Sun behind me anyway I love the sounds of the forest March March and it's this warm outside all it's gonna get colder again but it's great, fantastic, and uh, even with the health prob health emergence we have now, we can get out and enjoy ourselves. So, um, my plans, well, my pl for this year, have sort of somewhat been changed. I mean, I was supposed to go to Russia in April, um, then due back in Germany in May, uh, it was a quick visit to France planned and um, that was it really and the rest of the time we floating around oh I want to go to the Polish coast as I did in 2019 again that was great and so but anyway because of the situation now we don't know what's happening and uh, so it's, it makes it a bit more difficult the thing is this though within this current health emergency that we have is for those of us who have motorhomes you are First of all, you're isolated in a certain extent, you're quarantined, and you've got empty roads to travel on. And so, you know, why not try and uh, put a positive spin on it from that? I mean, it's a terrible thing for people who are injured, uh, uh, sorry, uh, who are ill. It's, a, uh, it's terrible for people who have businesses which are going to suffer because of it. But if you have the van, uh, you can get out and you can do something. And um, so that's one suggestion I would make. I watched a film on YouTube um, yesterday about somebody in the Sonoran Desert and had all these wonderful sounds of nature there which you wouldn't expect. And uh, as I walk through here now with the forest, uh, with the sounds of nature, I hope you can feel the same sort of thing so good I shall leave you now with a few views of the forest if I can work out how to turn this camera around I deliberately left my glasses on so I could see what I was doing and I'm now trying to work it out where's the uh, thing that turns the thing around don't know no idea any ideas oh well can't find it. Yeah, I'll just walk around like this. You can see the forest. I've got the, the, the vehicles in the background. And this is a good point. There's no insects out. Something I really appreciate. 
um, I uh, with the when you get the the mosquitoes coming out uh, and they will be out uh, a bit later. not so much here but some further to the east uh, where, it's a, where it's a bit of a problem great so thanks very much for watching <laughs> thanks very much for subscribing I feel very good about uh, the amount of subscribers that uh, that we've got so thank you very much and all the best uh, from Poland <laughs>